My name is Pastor Rachel McIver Mori, and I am the pastor at Northfield United Methodist Church. And this video is the introductory video for the Gospel of Matthew for those doing the project of reading the Bible in a year. The Gospel of Matthew is one of what we refer to as the synoptic Gospels. There's your $5 word. Synoptic means to see together. And those are Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And why do we refer to those that way? Well, you'll find material in common uh, between all three books. And very briefly put, Matthew and Luke take a great deal of material from Mark, and there's material unique to Matthew and Luke that does not appear in Mark. So there's a lot of shared material between all of them from various sources. And that's why they follow similar patterns and have a lot of uh, stories and language in common. The Gospel of John, well, that runs on its own logic. We'll talk more about that when it's time. What can I tell you distinctly about the Gospel of Matthew? A couple of things that make the Gospel of Matthew distinct. One is that uh, almost more than uh, any of the other Gospels, although they certainly wouldn't argue with this, is Matthew emphasizes that Jesus is the Jewish Messiah. So his entire writing is formatted on making the argument that Jesus fulfills prophecy, that Jesus uh, fulfills this role of the awaited Jewish Messiah. And we find that in genealogies, we find that in stories, we find that in the titles that Jesus is referred to as. So this is a huge priority, and this is the main argument for the Gospel writer of Matthew. We also know that uh, the Gospel of Matthew is very likely written late in the first century uh, of the Common Era. Why do we know that? Because of references to uh, the, uh, the destruction of the temple. And the destruction of the temple happened in 70 AD at the hands of the Roman Empire. And this was a cataclysmic event for the Jewish people. And we need to remember that in the earliest days of the Christian church, the Christian church was still very much connected to and a part of uh, the Jewish synagogue at the time. So this would have been a, a cataclysmic event for uh, followers of Jesus as for anyone else who was part of the Jewish family. So as you're reading the Gospel of Matthew, uh, you're invited to spend special attention and time with what's referred to as the Sermon on the Mount. Now, there's all sorts of connections in both format and content to uh, earlier content in the Old Testament and the books of the law. That's absolutely true. But some of the most challenging teachings in all of the Christian canon are found here. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Consider the lilies who neither toil nor spin. All of this comes from this section of the Gospel of Matthew. So there's a great deal to reflect on. And as always, we encourage you to use our questions. Number one, where is God in what I am reading? Number two, what thoughts, ideas, or concepts are challenging to me and why? And number three, what's going on in the world around me or my own life that connects with the text? Thanks and have a great day.